It's a nightmare, you guys. I know, I'm aware. It is definitely time. I cannot put this off any longer. <laughs> I have been putting off these chores because that's literally what they are. They are chores and they are the worst kind of chores because they are the chores that I can't delegate to somebody else. They are the chores that I can be like, hey, can you do this for me? I'll buy you a Starbucks. Like these are the chores that I actually have to get done because only I can do these chores type of chores, which again, the most notoriously annoying. But I have been putting these things off for the longest, you guys. I would say I'm going on three months almost, as embarrassing as that sounds, of decluttering my closet really organizing my room, really organizing my bathroom, decluttering my bathroom. I have been putting it off for so long and my cousin's annoyed, my mom's annoyed, my husband is to the point where I can tell he's getting slightly annoyed and so I just have to get it done and I figured I didn't want to suffer through this alone. So we're gonna go through this journey together. We're going to declutter. We're gonna get rid of some stuff. I have to get it done. I cannot put it off any longer. And I got up this morning. I went to yoga. I picked up some energy there, came back home, showered, did my makeup, filmed a little video. I made a smooth. This is actually a really pretty smoothie. Like I wanna take a picture of it because it's one of the prettiest smoothies I've ever made. It is banana, blackberry, blueberry, strawberry, protein, almonds, chia, and flaxseed and almond milk. It's You guys, it's so good. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do everything I've been putting off doing for the past few months. That's gonna be today's vlog. We're gonna get it done and we're gonna do it today and we're going to earn our treat. We're gonna buy ourselves our own Starbucks or iced coffee, whatever we feel today, that that's gonna be our treat because we deserve it. Let me give you an overview of what we have been working with. Okay, so this is my bedroom. She's cluttered. That mirror shouldn't even be here. This bed, I'm convinced Jameson is just not gonna sleep in this bed. He loves his crib so much and when he's not in his crib, he's in bed with us. I don't think there's ever gonna be a world where he's really gonna get to enjoy this bed. So I'm thinking of just getting rid of it altogether. I don't even know why I bought it. Like I thought he was going to be about it. He's not. And it's not that room is dirty. Honestly, it's just a sloppy bed that makes it look so dirty. I wanna change the bedding. That's something that I really do have to do. And that's not something I've actually been putting off. We change the bed sheets every one to two weeks, depending. So that's actually not the concern. I think the biggest thing that I have been avoiding is the bathroom. Again, this is very superficial. Jameson actually did this mess last night after and before bath time like he just ran through it like this is very superficial my main triggers are my bathroom because brandon's is over there and brandon's really isn't that bad it looks bad guys but it's not that bad my bathroom on the other hand this side a nightmare and every time i open this cabinet i get anxiety because it's just so stock full of stuff. The drawers are getting really cluttered again. I, It's just a wreck. And this room, I have been avoiding this room like the plague because she is so overwhelmed right now with clothes, shoes, so many things. So another goal of mine today is to pack up a bin because I'm determined to get rid of so many clothes. And I'm either going to give them away to family or just straight up like sell and consign them because I really do enjoy doing that as well, especially with clothes that I still have that have tags on them because I get sent a bunch of clothes and PR and stuff. I don't know where to start. Part of me is like move from the closet to the bedroom, but then another part of me is like move from the bedroom to the closet. That way you're kind of moving in order of events. You know what I mean? That's just my Capricorn brain, but that's what we have to do. It's a nightmare, you guys. I know, trust me, I'm aware, but we're gonna get it done. I'm going to go ahead and just roll up my sleeves and do it. I'm gonna start off probably with my actual bedroom and I'm probably gonna set a timer because if I give myself all day to do this, it'll take me all day. I've learned that lesson hard, but if I give myself one hour, 45 minutes to one hour timing situations. I stay pretty good in that. Either I will take a little bit longer than an hour or I'll take like 20 minutes. It's wild, but I'm going to definitely be setting timers on my phone. Like for this room, I'm giving myself 30 minutes. This area shouldn't take me longer than 30 minutes to do, to get organized, to accomplish all that, even with filming, like it should not take me that long. However, one thing I really do want to do is open up my new bedding with you guys, which is gonna be so embarrassing, but I ordered this bedding a month ago and I still haven't taken it out. Life got in the way, kids got sick, then we went on a trip and I was like, no, like I wanna enjoy my new bedding type of thing. Stuff got in the way, but let me go get my new bedding. All right, so I got my bedding from Amazon. 
Ooh, these sheets are so soft. I'll make sure to like link my bedding down below in my Amazon storefront, guys. It's really, really cute, if I remember. It's from Bedshire. It literally says like, get cozy right here. And again, it'll be linked. And I'm just gonna plop it on my bed. I know it got a lot of judgment last time because a lot of people were like, oh, you need to like wash your stuff before you put it on the bed. I never do, guys. I don't know, like I've never gotten anything because of it or anything has ever happened. And I'm not honestly like the biggest germaphobe ever. This kind of stuff doesn't bother me. So I'm just gonna plop it on my bed because I don't wanna have to go through the whole rigmarole of washing it. I just want my bedding on my bed now. So we're gonna do that, okay? Hey Siri, set timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Okay guys, my camera battery literally died as my timer went off, but we are almost done with the room. Like we're getting there. The only reason we're not all the way done yet is because there's so much clothes on the bed. But here's the thing guys, I cannot deal with these clothes until I deal with that closet. So we're not gonna be all the way done with this room until we are done with the closet, but we have to move on to the bathroom. And I tell you like this, I loathe this, but this is the room that has to get done. And when this room gets done, I know I'm gonna feel so much more liberated and all the weight off my shoulders. But to do that, I know I have to toss a lot of stuff. So I'm actually gonna go get some garbage cans. I have to get a couple of like bins and stuff. Cause I know I'm going to give away a lot of stuff. I know I'm gonna throw away a lot of stuff. It's just gonna be a huge like decluttering moment. And I'm gonna try to move in spaces. Like I wanna get Brandon's section done, move on to the tub and the shower, move on to mine and then et cetera, et cetera. However, we're making really good time. The room literally took me 45 minutes exact. So we're doing really good. I'm gonna set a timer for an hour for the entire bathroom and we are going to get it done. By golly gee, I have to pick up Autumn at a birthday party in two hours. So yeah, we have to get this done. Like we have to get it done.
I cannot believe how quickly we're moving you guys we're moving so quickly and I'm so proud of us and yes my makeup is like very oily and not looking great but it's not about the makeup on here okay it's about the makeup in here and all the makeup we're gonna get rid of I already have like my bins of stuff I'm gonna keep and stuff I'm going to throw away give away etc so I'm just going to start on this journey because it's it's so much and it's so much like i have so many things <laughs> My cabinets down here are actually looking not that bad, guys. It's mainly these cabinets and the drawers. Down here, I've been keeping it pristine. Since last time we touched base, your girl has been keeping it real, real nice and tight down here. This is my Heat Protect from Orbit. I love it. My Venergetic Mask. I need that. Emika Dream Routine. Love. Deodorant. I really do like this deodorant. Okay, if I'm gonna keep this deodorant, I'm getting rid of the native. The Madison Reed Shine Reviving Gloss. I really do like this. I love my hyaluronic glow moisturizer. Bosha charcoal pore mask, matte expired. So the Coco Kind, this is the oil to milk cleanser. This I'm probably gonna put in my bathroom guys because I need a cleanser in there that takes off makeup and this is so good. I was looking for this perfume. Oh, Cherosa, it smells so good. I do like this mask, but I already have a mask. I'm thinking hair care and like skincare. You guys like that? Are you guys with it? Because I like it. I waxed my arms yesterday. Forgot to put my like, wax machine away. But this is her and she's a cutie and she works. Let me tell you. I found this little thing that I've had for years and I had it in my office and it was holding like tweezers but I don't really need it to hold tweezers guys. I have like a whole drawer full of tweezers and I figured, okay, see that works. I'm just gonna keep it right here in the little basket of stuff that I already have. It fit perfectly. It's just, I mean, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. We're gonna continue on this journey because we're doing very, very, very good. Do you need to keep this out? I got this from Crown Affair and it is their leave-in conditioner. You guys, it's so aesthetic. Let's move on to the drawer. Let me explain. I was doing really good at keeping this drawer so organized, guys. I was doing amazing. And then I got a hit of a lot of PR at once. And usually my PR, which I'm very grateful for, kind of staggers. So I don't get it all at once and then I don't get like overwhelmed. But I got hit with it a lot all at once while we were all sick. So I kind of just threw stuff in here. And my assistant also was helping me with it. But because she was overwhelmed that doesn't quite know where everything goes that is a hair you guys it just it got very bad very quickly and now i just have to kind of catch up with it but now looking at it i'm realizing it's not terrible it just definitely needs an upkeep so i'm gonna set her here balms and lip care i keep here and i moon anything moon i keep right here and now I'm just gonna put my tools that I use basically almost every single day here, as well as my moon dust, again for moon. My little nose pore patches from peach slices. So good, love them, gonna keep these here. And then I'm also going to put my nail file. We're looking good, guys. I'm also throwing a bunch of stuff in the trash. All right, makeup drawer. I need this cleaned out. The Lore Puffs, I love these so much and I need them. I need all of them all the time, always. I just use them a lot when I do my makeup, guys. So I like to keep these on deck and the scissors and stuff. Honestly, the scissors can move to the other drawer. This blush from Essence, I really like it. This from Quo, you guys, I think it went bad. Like it just doesn't look good on me anymore and it kind of stings when I apply it. So probably gonna toss it. Same with this moisturizer. I just don't use it anymore and I love it. Like I love it so much, but I think it's old and I think it went bad. It kind of has like a smell to it as well. I have this headband, which honestly this shouldn't be here. This is my wax stick for my flyaway. So I'm gonna keep it here. Probably gonna keep all my Velour Puffs over here on this corner as well. Gonna put my lip balms in my skincare drawer. Any face complexions here. Okay, so lip products. Again, I don't mind having them here. Mascara can go here. Or eyebrow pencil, lip liner. So we have lip liners, lip liners, lip products, eye products, and now we have mascaras here. 
Bathroom is looking awesome and I'm so excited because I'm finally starting to see like the finish line. I do have to obviously like take out the trash and all that, but we're getting there. And with seven minutes to spare on our timer, now I can start on this. This is gonna take a while, I can feel it because I also have to go through my clothing. I'm gonna try and do it really fast, but the thing is guys, what I really wanna do is declutter a ton of it and get rid of a bunch of clothes that A, I don't wear anymore, B, I received and like didn't really like love that I have never worn and I just kept it here. I just really have to purge and I know it's gonna suck in the moment. Like I, there's a million and one things I would rather be doing right now, a million and one, but I know it's gonna feel so good once it's done and over with and I can call it a day but here is also an exciting thing like I'm very excited so this is a laundry hamper that I told myself I was going to fill this laundry hamper I'm going to fill with either bags shoes clothes I don't care but I'm going to fill it and I'm going to probably sell a bunch of clothes tomorrow I might go to a consignment shop but I'm going to fill that guys it is my duty my due diligence that is my job of the day let's go ahead and just get started here now because we are almost done guys almost midnight it is literally 11 44 right now it's almost midnight but i'm done you guys the closet is done i can actually sit on the floor i can actually see the floor like this is huge i'm so excited i'm so tired i'm gonna do a grand reveal tomorrow of like everything nice and clean and pristine but you guys this took me literally forever it wouldn't have taken me this long if i didn't like have other things to do obviously like i had to pick a bottom i had to do dinner like i had to do the whole mom thing but i'm just grateful i got it done i'm so tired and i'm so excited to go to sleep i'm so ready to sleep It is officially the next day. Went to yoga, came home, showered, dropped on off at school, did the whole nine, you guys. My face looks super shiny right now, but I just put on the sunscreen from Supergoop. Anyways, let me go ahead and show you how my room, my bathroom, and my closet is looking. When you first walk into my bedroom, this is what you see. It looks so clean, so decluttered. Best part, guys, there's no bed there. There's just my plant, my little puff ball. I ordered some stuff from Skims that I need to make a video with, so ignore that. I kept it out because I need to remember to film it. My little minimal clothing rack is here. My little chair, my magazines, my fake plants. They're fake, guys. I cannot fathom trying to keep something else alive in my household. There's too many kids, too many pets, and a whole grown man. But this is me bed i love my new bedding you guys like i'm super obsessed with it my nightstand everything looks nice and decluttered and organized i tried to organize the top of my dresser this over here is super special to me because brandon gave me this those were our wedding vows he printed them out and framed them for me well those are his vows i haven't printed mine out for him but he printed his out for me and i get to see it every time i choose my perfume for the day and this is what the room is looking like let's move on to the bathroom the bathroom has to be like my favorite room right now because i could see the counter space i organized brand inside there's nothing he has a very like minimalistic side he loves his bioderma like that man cannot live without his micellar water and bioderma is his favorite all he uses is bars of soap like that's literally all he uses in his entire existence so i make sure to keep those on lock the bathroom at the actual shower you guys i just showered actually just hopped out of the shower so it's still looking a little wet but it's very nice very minimal fresh eucalyptus hanging i have my skincare up there i have some extra shampoo mask my little pmd and then we come in and the bathroom is all 
also like super organized with all the stuff that I need and love. The razors are hanging. I love the shower caddy, by the way. I found it on Amazon. And I think my favorite feature is the little razor caddies or whatever you want to call them. My shampoos. I love this Lavabo shampoo. The K18 for the days where I really, really, really need a good cleanse. And my crown scrub. You guys know I cannot live without it. My Typology face wash also lives up there for the days where I really, really need it. And then, of course, my sink and my bathroom nice and organized nice and tidy super minimal this was probably the best thing that happened to me being able to put all my typology creams here because i love my typology creams like i cannot live without my typology creams and just like my favorite skincare products that i use all the time my evio serum my fenty melt off and then my cabinet nice and organized and I'm not decluttered anymore and then we have my organized skincare drawer, my organized makeup drawer. This is probably the one I have to keep up with the most. And now, last but not least, the closet that we can see the floor and there's not just a bunch of clothes tossed around. This was honestly so hard. This room took forever. It took me almost all night and all day. I'm so happy I got it done. And these are all the clothes I'm getting rid of, by the way. I know I said my goal was to fill up this whole hamper. We definitely filled it up and some. And I'm just, you guys, this is so relieving. This is, this makes me so happy, you have no idea. I have to hang up my picture, by the way. I keep forgetting to rehang up the picture of Brandon and I, but I will, I promise. I will. It's literally in the closet actually. I had to take it down for a post that I had to make where they wanted a completely clear background. That's why I took it down. No, no craziness happened. Nothing bad happened. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys inspired you to also do the things that you have been putting off for me. It was all of yesterday but the feeling that i have right now while yesterday i was frustrated tired annoyed all of the above today i feel so serene and so calm relaxed happy and definitely like it was all worth it so i'm telling you i hope this video inspired you to do something anything you've been putting off for months get it off your chest get it off your checklist do it trust me it is absolutely life-changing anyways i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next one bye